to kick off, I would like to run through my daily stretching routine. I find this hugely beneficial and everyone should stretch more. Let's begin. You're standing and stretch. This type of stretch is used to stretch your leg muscles. I must try not to fall when doing this stretch. And I find the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Also, you must try to stay down for about 30 seconds. Now, your straight arm stretching is a standard stretch and I help to keep your arms nimble and able to function at the full range. You must always stretch on both sides, even if the one side is difficult. Now, bent arm stretch. The important part for you to remember is that my right side was quite injured. So it's hard on the right side, but it can still be done. Now, next stretching, you look left and right, down and up. And then what I do is I go to the side and forward. And that helps to keep your neck flexible. Now, you hit, you continuously use your hips in general mobility. So you go like this to loosen them up. Now you'll use your legs for many daily tasks, walking, standing and sitting. So it's important to make sure they remain stretched and strong. First you go fingers to toes and traditionally this is a hamstring stretch but I find it stretch to my calves. And then you go over your leg with the other leg to stretch your butt, which is also very good for balance. And then what I do is I often go fingers to toes and this stretches my calf muscles. Now your inner thighs, you go like this, you put your heels together and you put your elbows to your legs to push them down. Now the outer thighs, you put your heels to your butt and you just sit. And I find that it works for me. And now your back, you sit on the floor with your arms ahead of you and you touch the ground and you also keep that for about 30 seconds. I had to learn many things first when I woke up. By asking questions, I found out that three things help you with balance and standing. Your back, abdominals and butt muscles. In my series of videos, you will see the exercises I do to improve these parts. I hope this will motivate other disabled people to keep pushing.